What's going on guys, it's your boy Fox back in the house with another reaction for Unordinary. This is episode 165, chapter 170. Who cares? Last at the last chapter at the end, Arlo and Serafina were talking, which needs to happen. I also got a shiver up my spine because for some odd reason I pictured a ship between Arlo and Serafina. Ugh. Still makes me crawl. Cause the only real ship, and we know what it is, the only real ship is John and Cecile. Fight me about it in my Discord. <laughs> but let's jump straight into it. Let's see. All I know we're gonna continue off, so yeah. I've always noticed uh, the inconsistency in John's behavior. But whenever I asked him about it, he he has never given me a, a straight answer. I don't want to waste energy trying to get explanations out of him anymore. Right now, I don't want to talk to him at all. You, you, that's the mistake, y'all need to talk. Just sit down and talk about it, this is brazy. Arlo, you're the only, you're the only other person who knows the full story. I want you to tell me the what I want you to tell me what really happened between you and John. Tell her. You tell her now, you buffoon. Oh wait, wait a minute. What am I doing? Did... Jumping straight into the chapter. I'm sure you I'm sure you were aware. Your friend John, uh, John stuck out like a sore thumb. Claimed he was the cripple, but he uh but he sure as hell didn't act like one. I knew he was hiding something and I didn't like the idea of an unknown roaming Wilson, so I had Eisen look into him. Turns out my suspicions were right. John was secretly a high tier. I wanted to see what he was uh, capable of, so I went after him. And you already know what happened uh, What happened afterwards. No, you, you're giving bullet points. Go into full detail, sir. <laughs> John told me everything about how you deceived him, dragged him out, and humiliated him. You've completely destroyed him. He did. He he did and he didn't. He destroyed the facade that he was trying to put on, and it's all his fault. If you go anywhere near John again, I will end you. <laughs> that was before she had her ability to take it. I had you suspended and, uh, and spent the next few weeks waiting for uh, the school to break down John. No, to break John down. My fault. Then I took him out to our turf war location and had Millie and Ventus ambush him. Scoundrel ass motherfucker. <laughs> That's about the extent of what John told you, right? Just about. I thought so. He did a great job of demonizing me. You wouldn't even. He wouldn't even give me the time of day till now. Though I can't really complain, especially after what I did to him. I never should have involved myself with him. Come on, no, go into deeper. John's much more dangerous than you know. Nobody wants to make enemies with someone like him. Why do you and Elaine both talk about him as if he's some kind of monster? Was your experience with him really that terrible? What else has he kept from me? <laughs> Wait, what the? F Why did that sound so robotic? I'm I'm mad right now. Hold up, wait a minute. No, no. Well, for starters, he was the king of his old high school in New Boston. What? Nani? New Boston? He wasn't homeschooled. I don't know why you're still surprised at this point. Homeschooling? Just another lie he made up so that others wouldn't question his history. No. Like me, John became king in his second year of high school. And that same year, he was expelled for brutalizing his classmates. Expelled? Brutalized his classmates? Yes, yes, he did. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting more upset because I'm like, you know what? I didn't want him to, I wanted him to tell her, but for some odd reason, now I'm regretting it. Because I'm like, no, I think you should have heard this from John. Because <laughs> now, because all is just going to not going to shoot. No, it don't need. I'm, I'm rambling. I'm upset. Just know I'm upset. <laughs> So he's done, he's done this before. When I brought him out uh, to that field, I already knew he was powerful, but 
I didn't expect him to be much stronger than I was. Obviously, I was wrong. I didn't humiliate him. I didn't destroy him. I was defeated and I lost the title on that day. Since then, he's been ordering me around. And when you lost your ability, psh, that, was, that was the worst. I, <laughs> I practically became his errand boy. <laughs> Even though I made it clear that I wanted nothing to do with him, he continued to call on me over and over and over and over and over and over again and over. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Whenever he was dissatisfied with anything, he'd find me and take out his anger on me. Yelling. Now you're kind of throwing a little bit of shade too. I'm not going to stunt, but you know, it's true. I'm not. I'm, ugh. This is going to be messy, y'all. Cursing, punching, he was an absolute nightmare to deal with. That can't be right. If there's one thing I'm sure about is that John handles things on his own. You're not making this up, are you, huh? How would I benefit from making this stuff up? I'm telling you my side of the story, just like you asked. Believe whatever you want, fine. Then how did, you, then how did John get to the state he's in now? Because I stopped listening to him. What? There's a limit to my patience. You'd think for someone always spitting the same orders, protect Serafina, watch, watch after Serafina, for someone so concerned about your safety, the least he could do is stand up for you while you were being tortured in front of him. After Zeke challenged you when you were on the ground, injured and bleeding, the least he could have do was use his powers to defend you, right? He could have stopped everything in an instant, but he just sat there and watched like a coward. Hmm. How could I respond to someone like that? Why would I continue to follow why would I continue following his orders? Someone like that has no right to command me. I need to quit being lazy and make discussion videos. Those are on the way, I promise. I promise. When you were abducted by those mid-tiers, John nearly sabotaged our entire search operation, all because he went to beat up Aizen over uh, a personal grudge. No, he took out Aizen because he knew his ability. <laughs> if he hadn't run into Evie, if he hadn't run into Evie, I wouldn't have taken, uh, taken as, it wouldn't have taken as much longer to find you. John prioritized revenge over your safety. Uh, <laughs> He just went about it the wrong way. And that was the last I could stand of his foolish behavior. So I pulled him aside and told him to do better. I told him to use his powers responsibly. All this could have been avoided if you had established your place to begin with. If you had used your power for anything, you're, let, you're letting yourself waste away like, someone, like some kind of victim. All I wanted was a life away from the rankings. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to be a part of your shitty kingdom. He just blamed everything on Wellston's hierarchy and accused me of dragging him back into it. You did. You 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 blatantly did. You just admitted you did. Soon after uh, he became Joker and started wreaking havoc around school, I tried everything I could to stop him, but nothing worked. He's unhinged. He's revenge-driven and utterly uncontrollable. That's why I had to bring you into this. Because you're probably the only person he'd listen to. It's facts, more than likely. And his dad. But we don't know where his dad is at right now. I think he's on a business trip. Correct me if I'm wrong. I see. <laughs> She's like, I've heard enough. I have a better understanding of the situation now. But I still need some time to put my thoughts together. After that... <laughs> no, just go talk to him. I'll have a talk with him. And we cut to John beating up someone again. Nope, just flipping out in whatever room that's in. Some random classroom. What was that look? Why? Why won't she just talk to me? Not so happy with the results, are we? I, I, I Cecile, I wouldn't recommend trying to be smart right now. I, fig I, I figured I'd come talk to you again now that you've experienced Joker's aftermath. Oh, fuck off, Cecilia, exactly. Serafina was attacked, wasn't she? How did you know? So it's true. Well, it was only a matter of time. She used to be Wilson's ace, after all, so I'm not, I'm not surprised students would want to target her. 
whether it be because they have old business to settle or because they just want the satisfaction of having defeated a goddess. People really are, are all garbage. Ugh. Ugh. John, when did you get so hard to defend, dog? <laughs> She's like, hold up, wait a minute. Look, I don't know what's going through your head. I always assumed you wanted to take over Wilson because you were sick of seeing Serafina being mistreated. But haven't you realized you've made the situation even worse? He's like, hold up, wait a minute. John, listen to Cecile. Cecile, are you saying it's my fault that the school is, in, <laughs> is full of greedy fucks? I'm like, no, that's not what I'm saying, but it's your fault that she's being targeted even more than she already was. <laughs> No, that's not it. What I mean is, previously Seraphina's association with the Royals kept the majority of the en of her enemies away. There you go, spit some facts. But now all of Seraphina's allies, who were uh, passively protecting her before, yep, won't be able to won't be able to anymore. Students are able to use Joker's identity at will. So they don't have anything to be afraid of because nobody can hold them responsible for harming Serafina anymore. Look, C Cecile, I knew you were my girl. C Please, John. It's not for, if not for the sake of Wilson, then at least for Serafina. Just reveal yourself. Y y bro, it, it, you wanted a solution. It's there. It's literally right there. It's in your face. And I'm so glad. No, I don't care. What? But why? I know I know just the way to keep Sarah out of trouble. What are you gonna put her in a hospital? <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh no. Cecile. Yep. I want you to look after her. <laughs> why? <laughs> why? <laughs> oh snap. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm speechless, not speechless. Oh, my head hurts. Bro, I ain't never seen someone dodge responsibility so hard before in my life. That is, that is brazy. Yeah, y'all, y'all best believe I'm gonna have a talk with, uh, you, there's gonna be a collaboration discussion coming up pretty, pretty soon. I, yo, that is brazy. <laughs> It don't make no damn sense, <laughs> guys. Oh, I'm I'm weak, guys. You know the deal. Do the stuff that I normally tell you to do. I got some stuff to think about. With all that being said. Uh. <laughs>